we want to thank you for having an audience with us yesterday and giving us uh, the necessary support for a state funeral. The family has been meeting and making plans towards the funeral. And we will get you posted about all the arrangements we are making. You're welcome. Former First Lady, members of the family of President Rawlins, my presence here is for obvious reasons. Like the 30 other million people of Ghana who were all shocked yesterday to hear that uh, our first president has gone to meet his maker. I find it so difficult to believe that uh, the man I knew is a very dynamic, energetic, vital human being is today corpse. But then it's an experience that will come to each one of us in our turn. And the Almighty's own choosing. It's not our choosing, it is of his. So when I heard the news, I had the Chief of Staff make contact with you to let you know that uh, who he was, the position that he occupied in our nation, and his contribution to our country, his development and history, his obsequies, his departure, has to be the responsibility of the Ghanaian nation. They are going to be writing volumes and volumes about his contribution to Ghana, whatever be the case, his passage and the leadership of our nation will not be forgotten. So I let the Chief of Staff indicate to you that I felt it was also appropriate that the formal announcement of his death be that of the responsibility of the President. And it's on that basis that I announced to the country this passage. In the evening, we sent a delegation involving Colonel Abutui, Balgoji, your eldest of your children, and the others to come and officially inform me. I indicated then again Whatever arrangements are going to be made are going to be the arrangements of the state of Ghana. We have to make sure that this man is given a befitting state burial. His contribution to our country is enormous. Many, many, many grounds. And our nation must show its true appreciation of his work and output here in Ghana. So, I want the Chief of Staff to liaise with whoever you designate for us to start to think about how to go forward on his burial. But in the meantime, it's important that we should come here and express to you, to your children, to his family, deep condolences on what has taken place so suddenly. It's, that's the part that is so difficult to, to assimilate, that it has come out of the blue that he has left us. You have to know that at this time, you're definitely not alone. And lots and lots of people in Ghana who will share your grief with you. All of us do our best to make sure that we're able to go through this passage as painlessly as possible. It will not be painless. 
but as painlessly as possible. So I came here this morning just to express to you a personal condolence about what has happened. And once again to reassure you that the Ghanaian government is going to be right with you in making sure that your husband is given a fitting send-off and farewell. So this is the purpose of my visit here. And I'm here, as you can see, with the Vice President, his wife, the Second Lady, the Chief of Staff of the Office of the President, the Chairman of our party, the New Patriotic Party. My own brother is here as well. And our Ambassador in China, as well as the Deputy Chief of Staff in my office, and National Security Advisor, General Ochre, all who came together to come and express our sympathies and condolences to you, your children and family. On behalf of Her Excellency Nanakunui Dajiman Rawlings, the widow of His Excellency Flight Lieutenant Jerry John Rawlings, and the family, I stand here to thank you and your delegation for this show of support and for the, um, the immense honor done to His Excellency by ensuring that he will be recognized by a full state burial and also the extension of all protocols and courtesies to the family to ensure that we honor his memory as a result. Indeed, this was unexpected. Um, I suppose, on the one hand, he managed to send his mother off first, which was one of his concerns, which he made a point of mentioning in his tribute to his late mother. And um, as he rightly said, the Lord giveth and the Lord taketh. And we cannot comprehend the reason why, but we do have to understand that this is the reality of our lives. It may not be today, it may not be tomorrow, but the certainty is that death is something we all have to live with at some point, we have to face. Your Excellency, the family has only, things are still up in the air. We are yet to discuss the date of the funeral. And um, as such, what we can do today is to thank you once again for paying us a visit today and honoring us. And to let you know, we will work closely with the Chief of Staff and with State Protocol to ensure that the wishes of both are honored as much as possible, both the family and of the state to ensure that this goes off without a, a bit of a problem at all. We go through smoothly and honor the memory of the man he was. Once again, we thank you and may God bless you all. Thank you.